Devontae. Devontae Swing. Swing. Devontae Swing. That's my partner. We was on the road. Devontae came to my room one night, and uh, him and his manager, Steve, I guess Steve last name, and he put $15,000 on the table. I said, well, what you doing? What's that? He said, man, I want you to come to Jersey with me and have me help me manage my uh, my new label, Benito, because I see the stuff you do over here for hammer and stuff, man. So you good, bro. I said, yeah. I said, come to Jersey. What? I ain't from the right. hammer. I said, what were you talking about? What? He said, I want you to be my, be my manager, man. One of my managers help me with my stuff. I'll get you an apartment and everything, man. You be good. I said, man, 15 times ain't no money. And other things I did besides singing on other records. My first record I did with Hammer was 357. We Like It Wild on Loose Remix. That's my first song. Hammer woke me up 2 o'clock in the morning and said, get up. Uh, be downstairs with me in a minute and um, come pick you up in the hotel and take you to record something. And I did. I recorded the song with them, which sold over a million copies. Mm. You know, and you know, Dewana, she stayed here in Dallas. Mm. Wow. She stayed in Fort Worth, rather. Part, so one of the did. members of 357. Yeah, the one with the thick eyebrows. Yeah. Her. And she still looks the same, too. I wish I could get on the show. I you like can. I can make that happen. Make that happen. That's my, that's my sister. I need to holler at her. Yeah. Terrible, terrible T, the one, the one, the symmetrical, we were jamming. Yeah. I mean, the one that danced, too, but Terrible T, she was off the chain. Yeah. She stays in uh, Phoenix, Arizona now. And the third member, sweet, uh, uh, Lil P, she stays in Houston. Wow. Yeah, she don't do nothing no more. So she they just, never came back together and just mm, do a reunion? They tried to. They, they done did a couple of reunion things for us receiving awards, you know, like in Oakland and different places in L.A., but they ain't did no shows in any years. No, wow. No shows in years. So you, you, back you, to the, back to the, 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 the deal today. Mm -hmm. Did I owe anything? To, yes. No. Did, did, and, and, and not only did you owe anything, was there a time now, when you look at, go back to your catalog or anything that you dealt with, did you have, you know, did you have rights to anything? What is, is there still, do you, do those people, you, that music streaming, do you get anything now? We in the process right now, me and my attorneys. Cause a lot of people was uneducated when it came yeah, to Yeah, 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 I was a kid, man. That's when I started learning the business. After I found out some things that were going on, I used to hang around him with his brother, Lewis. Lewis was a mastermind. See, everybody thought Ham was a mastermind, but everything. he wasn't. It was his brother, Lewis Burrell. He did everything. He set everything up. Hammer, I mean, Lewis literally took Hammer from making $3,000 a night to $30,000 overnight when Hammer first started. Wow. And also, Lewis Ray also signed Ricky Henderson to that big baseball deal with the A's. Yeah. And, he, and when Dion left from uh, San Francisco, Lewis had some negotiating with Jerry Jones with the Dallas Cowboys. Wow. Lewis Cole. Lewis left home like Jesus at 13. Mm. And Lewis was so intelligent, he used to get on my nerves all the time. Physiologically speaking, from the initial point of view, the alpharendum is very, very catalytic to the situation which is at hand. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he studied the, the, the encyclopedia. He learned two words every day from the encyclopedia. Not only studied them, he learned them mm. and knew the definition. Mm -hmm. And he would speak like that all the time. So when he spoke, he was highly intelligent. You were like, damn, what did he just say? Like, yeah. You had to look it up. So yeah, Lewis was the mastermind behind everything over there, Buster Records, and took it to the to the mountaintop and to the mountain fell, you know. Wow. So you basically still trying to figure all that out, pretty much. Yeah, like I said, right now we're in the process of receiving, uh, getting my, uh, getting my uh, public streaming. No, well, no streaming. I was signed to Hammer's label, Buster Record, and I was also managed by them. That's why I said a Kids Twenty Two. That's Kids Twenty Two. The label cannot manage you. You supposed to have your own management. Yeah. But he did. I was a kid. And I was so happy to be with him. I didn't give a damn what was going on. Yeah. I like, whatever you ask me to do, I'm doing it. Because I'm with you. And I traveled the world. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you about the incident right quick. I ain't never been told this story. and never been told. Go ahead. On the last tour we had in America, MC Hammer, Boys and Men, Jodeci, Devontae. Devontae Say. Devontae Swing. That's my partner. We was on the road. Devontae came to my room one night, and uh, him and his manager, Steve, I guess Steve last name, and he put $15,000 on the table. I said, well, what you doing? What's that? He said, man, I want you to come to Jersey with me and have me help me manage my uh, my new label, Benito, because I see the stuff you do over here for Hammer and stuff, man. I said, you good, bro? I said, yeah. I said, come to Jersey? What? I ain't from right. the Hammer. I said, what were you talking about? What? He said, I want you to be my, be my manager, man. One of my managers help me with my stuff. I'll get you an apartment and everything, man. You be good. I said... Man, fifteen thousand ain't no money, and I had hundred thousand more. I was like, what you doing? Fifteen thousand? You wanna keep that little change? But no. I said, what's going on? He said, he said, man, how long you been with Hammer? 
That's when the deceitment, the devil comes in. I said, four years, why? He said, why you ain't came out with your own album yet? I said, I'm gonna come out with my album, I'm gonna tell my album. How long you been telling you that? And then my mind started thinking. I said, he don't need you to sing his hooks no more, Benito. Man, he MC Hammer, he the biggest, he can get anybody to come on, on tour to sing your parts. He can send you back there right now and do, you know, whatever you need to do, put you with Teddy. I, I can do some damn tracks for you. You know what I'm saying? All that. Bruh, it ain't about you. It's about him. I said, Devontae, I like you as my friend. And I know you probably think I'm tripping. I said, but bro, check this out. If I hadn't been with Hammer, I would have never met you. So why would I betray him? I ain't no ship jumper, homie. I said, I'm a Scorpio, homie. I'm true to the game. If I love you, I'm down with you. I'm down with you to the end, till the wheels fall off. I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a betrayer. I'm not a Judas. I don't do that. I'm just saying, man, you come on over, man, help me with my groups, man. I, t- I take care of you. At that time, Devontae had Missy Elliott. He had Timberland. He had a guy by the name of Genuine. But at mm. the time, we, we knew him as, as Elgin. Mm. We didn't know him as Genuine. We knew him by biological. Elgin, quiet as a damn church house mouse. Wow. Just sitting around. And everybody else with him. He gets back, and I said, I'm glad I didn't make the decision. Because shortly after that, they got back, and the tour was over. He lost everybody. They went, they, oh, they went their separate ways, remember? I remember that. Missy started doing her own thing with Timberland. They formed a, a crew together, got their own deal. Bam! Why did he lose everybody? Was he doing bad business? Devontae, I, I would say he went crazy. He, he started tripping. He started acting like Prince or something. He started whizzing out. Yeah, he went. And, uh, and it just fell apart. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And so one of the highlight moments is when your mother, you was in there dancing yeah. and, and that's probably what made you stay too, right? Almost definitely. Because you knew that he the loyalty. Was loyal, the loyalty. Yeah. It, it was overstanding the money. Yeah, it it was mean. more about just you and him having a bond. And see, it was even bigger than that too because we came back home south. We came to Shreveport and especially when we came to Monroe for a concert. My mama cooked for the whole crew. Hammer paid my mama to cook. He gave her $2,000 for cooking the food. And mama, I, I gave him the money to cook. And my manager, Craig, he's he from Mississippi. He said, man, I want, some, I want this day. We had chitlins. We had Ooh. hot water, cornbread, collard greens, dressing, giblet gravy, neck bones, pig feet. Mama cooking. Man, her and her friends. She had her friends come help her. Chocolate, Hammer loved German chocolate cake. They, loved, they, they, knew Hammer, they didn't pudding. know Hammer was in town, though. Nobody and, didn't know. We came, man. Mama came in there and cooked for him. My mama was like, Cause we had a, we had a catering service out of Chicago. Nobody wanted that. They even ate with us. Like, damn, your mom can cook. I mean, all our friends. So it was home cooked meal for the whole crew. A lot of girls like, what is this stuff right here? It's called hot water cornbread. They're like, oh, I never had that before. They, oh, it's good. You know, it's crazy. But they wouldn't eat them chillings though. Some of the other people on the crew, you know, crew members, all that chillings. Oh my God. Him say, ain't no chillings. But he loved his German chocolate cake and whatever. And it was just love, man. And he's like, man, I love your mama, man. I told her I'm gonna take care of you. I did exactly what I said I was going to do, Benito. I, I won't let you fall. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.